can't go anywhere without somebody quoting this show. I love to hear that. That's <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah. I, it, what's nice is that the show airs in so many different places now that. You know, I have friends who call me and they tell me they've seen it on Cartoon Network or they've seen the reruns in syndication or they're watching the new episodes or they're watching it on Hulu. So it's now reaching that point where it's sort of got a critical mass of episodes that, you know, you, you see it in lots of places and people seem to still enjoy it, which we always uh, like to hear. And it's definitely one of those shows I feel like you guys are always pushing the envelope. We, you know, I was going to say we try, uh, but it's not like it's a concerted effort. It's just sort of the style of the show. It's the, we're... We're doing service to the template that Seth MacFarlane created when he created the show, and he always envisioned it as a, a, an adult cartoon that wasn't afraid to make adult jokes. So we try to make jokes of all varieties. You know, we borrow from vaudeville, and we borrow from, you know, a musical theater, and we borrow from, you know, like you say, jokes that are a little more edgy and a little more risque. But we think that the combination is what people really like about the show. You know, you can expect a really smart joke about Benjamin Disraeli and then, uh, uh, you know, a really clever poop joke on the next page. <laughs> what do you think it is about this family that people have just fell in love with? I think that it's a, you know, I think people love the characters. I think people love the idea that uh, there's a dog who talks and he's the smartest person in the house and he's the dog. And that there's this baby who uh, has a lot of qualities you don't see in a baby, you know, but I think that the, despite the novelty of Brian and Stewie's characters, I think what people also respond to is that it feels like an authentic family. You know, it's not a, a TV show from the 50s where everything is great and everything is lovely. You know, there's conflict between siblings and between kids and parents. And, uh, you know, so I think despite the fact that it's animated, there's still a reality to it that I think people resonate. Is there a question that people ask you whenever you do these kinds of panels? That is there one thing that people really want to know about the show? There's always two questions that come up. One is, who can understand Stewie? And is it laugh and cry or f and cry? <laughs> and I'll answer both. Um, Brian can understand Stewie and Chris. Um, and it's laugh and cry. <laughs> but yeah, without fail, it's so funny. Without fail, someone always asks one or both of those questions. What's really funny, I think, is how it, it was on, and then it went away, and then it came right, back. Right, right. And so do you think that just the fans there had the power? Yeah, it, that's what was so exciting in this case, because the fans really did have the power. You know, there have been times where shows get canceled, and people sign petitions, or they write letters, but this was a case where people could really put their money where their mouth is, because what happened is that they took... Uh, the existing episodes, there were 50 at the time, and they put them on DVD. And quite honestly, the studio just thought they could, you know, kind of milk a little more money out of this failed show. In fact, it was a chance for van fans to really let their voices be heard. So when they bought the DVDs, it sold more DVDs that year, way beyond what they expected. They thought they'd sell a couple hundred thousand DVDs. They sold three and a half million in the first year alone. And it's gone on to sell many, many more DVDs since then. And so it was a chance for fans not only to express their liking for the show, but to do it in a way where they were spending money. And so I think that's what really caused the studio and the network to open their eyes. Tell me a little bit about why South By is such a great um, way for fans to obviously interact with the four of you. Oh, well, it's so exciting because, you know, we're, we love coming here because, you know, when we're in L.A., we, you know, we're seeing and hearing from a lot of the same people. But... You know, on an animated show, you don't really get to interact with the fans as much. Even if it's a live action show, you might have a studio audience who comes in and you're sort of seeing what, what people are responding to. So we love to see not only fan reaction to the show, but we like to hear from them, hear what they're liking about the show, maybe what they don't like about the show. And this is a great place where we get a really nice cross section of people from all over. In fact, we had people from, you know, literally all over the world, different countries in our panel. And, and so you get a nice sampling of people who are watching the show all over the place. And you get to hear from them. and, and Take that into account as you continue to write and produce the show. Is there anything else you want to say about Family Guy or South by? Um, I could just plug our season finale. Sure. So, so we have a really fun season finale coming up. It airs in May, and we've done a series of road shows over the year where Stewie and Brian have gone to uh, Germany or Europe or, uh, well, Germany's in Europe, but we did road to Europe, we did road to Germany, we did um, yeah, road to Rhode Island, and so we've done the next in our series of road shows, which is road to India. So Stewie and Brian go to India, and there's a lot of fun to be had there, and the reason they go is because Brian falls in love with the woman who's helping him with tech support for his laptop, and she happens to be in <laughs> in India, so he goes there to find yeah. his love and meet her, and they have a lot of fun. It's a great, really fun episode. He would. Yeah. <laughs> he would fall in love with someone. Yes, he's, he's not the deepest guy. He's, he can be pretty shallow, especially when it comes to women.